Dine Tyler, and welcome to another episode of my Christian Music Weekend Reviews. Each week I take five releases, albums or singles, and after having listened to them all week, I come back here and I review them. I share what I think about them. So without further ado, let's get to this week's first release, Colton Dixon's new single, Miracles. Colton Dixon's new single, Miracles, is a very upbeat pop jam. As for the lyrics here, great lyrics. Talks about how God's miracles, including the miracle of Him finding us and saving us, doesn't happen by coincidence, and it's definitely of Him. Up next, Tornwell's new album, Citizen of Heaven. New album, Citizen of Heaven, is overall, if I had to sum it up, a pop album with a lot of bass in it. However, there are some other elements on this album that I probably should mention. So he also includes like funk. He also includes gospel and country as well. And that, and worship as well. Quite a few, a little bit of worship going on in this album too. And as for the lyrics here, I really love the lyrics of this album. Talks about resting in who God says we are as forgiven and loved citizens of having to plug the album title in. <laughs> and also talks about God's power, being able to do miracles, trusting in that as well. Up next, Corey Asbury's new song, The Father's House. Corey Asbury's new song, The Father's House, Stylistically speaking, kind of reminds me a lot of Buffalo Music song, Raise a Hallelujah, which is fitting because he's been part of that group, obviously. He's a part of that group, obviously. As for the lyrics here, great lyrics here. It talks about not being defined by your failures and chucking your shame at the door. When God is in the room, when God is, when you're in God's house. Up next, Aaron Cole's new double single, AOTY. Aaron Cole's new EP, er, double single, AOTY, which means all of this is yours. For third, before I describe the sound of it, let me just say, I wasn't that into his last album, not by chance, but these songs are definite bangers, so this, this definitely, I definitely got more into this than his last release. I mean, not by chance wasn't bad, but it didn't really knock my socks off either, per se. But A-L-T-Y is really good. Now let's talk about the sound here. So the first song, Mad. By the way, both Man and My Gear feature bass. Man has a little more of a singing hook, and he raps in that one. But My Gear is all rapping, so... <laughs> and as for the lyrics here, he talks about people that knew him before fame and how it's kind of changed his relationship with him a little bit. Also, though, he gives credit to for his success to God. Hence, all this is yours, right? Up next, our last release for today, Flame's new EP, Extra Nose. Flame's new EP, Extra Nose, definitely has a hip-hop feel to it with his instrumentation and his rapping for about five of the songs, and then the other two songs are more him talking. Now let's get into the lyrics. Now, before I get too far into the lyrics, let me just say that... These lyrics do talk about his change from Calvinism to Lutheranism. And now, let me make a couple statements about myself before I jump into this review. I, myself, go to a Calvinist church, but, and I mean, and up to this point, have had a little exposure to a Lutheran viewpoint. But that being said, I'm not going to necessarily pick one side or the other. I'm just in what I say in this review today, I'm just going to focus on the content of the lyrics and what I think about them. 
as I would pretty much for any other release that I ever review on this channel. So let's dive into it. So Fling talks about, the overriding theme here I think is salvation through faith alone and not by works. He talks about how sometimes this whole concept of, which is a biblical concept by the way, of predestination, of election, and and sanctification can sometimes lead us to feel like, oh, I'm, if I'm not doing enough, then maybe I'm not truly saved when salvation truly is a gift of faith alone. Oh, well, yes, our deeds are a fruit of our salvation. They're not what caused our salvation. So, that being said, I definitely agree with Flame's new, folk, with what Flame's focusing on here. And definitely will continue to be a fan of it. For this week, come back next week for five more releases. If you like what you saw in this video, please subscribe. Also, if you have any thoughts on this week's releases, please leave that in the comments below. Also, if you have any re requests for any releases that came out today that you want me to see me review next week, please leave that in the comments below too. Also, please be sure to give my business page on Facebook a like. And oh, on Monday as well, we'll be dropping yet another book playlist. I was actually originally supposed to release this last week, but due to the whole Wii review, I ended up postponing it a week. Is I'm putting out a playlist for Dr. David Jeremiah's book, The Book of Signs, which features, ironically enough, quite a few songs from one of the artists we just reviewed in this video, Flame, but also includes music from Toby Mac, Tadashi, and some other artists. Yes, there's some other hip-hop songs on here, but don't worry, if you're not that into hip-hop, there's some non-hip-hop stuff on here for you too, so please check that out on Monday when that drops. And also know that I release these videos at 9.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Friday. These review videos, I mean. 9.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Friday, so please do remember that. Well, I'll go now. Bye!